Hi guys, uh, hello movie lovers, uh, mother and kid back again, how's everybody doing out there? Um, yeah, you, you heard it in the beginning, yeah. Uh, that classic roar, right? Uh, so basically guys, I'm here to uh, give my review, like I said, better late than never, but you all should know I was definitely going to check out the movie you knew uh, how much of a fan I am of this classic monster and um, I just wanted to make sure to see that this movie was faithful to the original and um, as you all could see yeah we're talking about Godzilla uh, When we first, honestly, guys, I let's get right off, right out of the, let's get it right out there. I enjoyed the movie very much. I, I truly did. Um, this was exactly what I was, in a sense, um, looking for, um, for for a Godzilla movie. It wasn't, you know, it was, it was, in a sense, Warner Brothers really paying, staying faithful to the original Toho series of Godzilla, which for me is always great because that just shows that they, they care and they, they want to stay faithful to the original source, but still retelling, uh, given a retelling of Godzilla's origin in this and I must say I thought that was really impressive as well that they um, the way they retold his origin and and it, it was like when you look at that it was to my sense I was like you know what that makes that makes a lot of sense um, I love the how they depict Godzilla in this movie um, pretty much uh, I thought that they, uh, if you hear stuff in the back, guys, don't worry about that. Um, the way they depict Godzilla in this movie, I really appreciated that a lot. Like him being like a force of nature that restores balance. They kept playing that up. Um, they kept playing that up in the movie, and I, I, w I was, I really appreciated that. I was like, yeah, that. That makes sense, you know, him being the, in the quote unquote the king. So yeah, it'd be his job to restore balance. Um, the acting alone was really good. It, I, it wasn't like nobody really outshined anybody too much, but it was whenever Ken Watanabe was on the screen, he portrayed his character mm -hmm. very well. And you know, you anytime he was. You know, as always with Ken Wanabe, you know, for me, I've never seen him green or anything in any of his performances. So he's always been top notch with his performances. Um, but acting wise, it was good. They, it really, it did it focus too much on the humans. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it too much, but it was, excuse me, but it was needed because of the fact that you know. We're kind of in a in a situation between the, this force of nature, which is the big G, G man himself, Godzilla, and the, these other and the other monsters. Um, but uh, Brian Cranston was really good in the movie. Um, uh, for <laughs> believe it or not, well, for the majority of the movie he was in, because he the the TV spots had us fooled a lot, you know basically showcasing that he was in the entire movie but um a uh, little spoiler here guys he wasn't um alan johnson i believe yeah who played kick ass you know I, I thought he was really good um as in his role um it was really funny to see elizabeth olsen who's playing plays his wife in this movie uh who, who later on in the avengers will play his sister and they're lovey-dovey and things like that that was really funny i'm like that that She's gonna be your sister in in the next movie, so it's funny. 
but their chemistry with each other was really good. I enjoyed their, their chemistry. Um, but in terms of, like I said, in terms of the acting wise, the pacing to me was really well done as well. Um, showcasing the, the, the first coming of, uh, yeah. uh, 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 basically the coming of Godzilla and to, we see fully seeing him in all his honor and glory, which was really good. Um, the, the monsters in the movie that he fought, um, that was the only thing I would say I kind of nitpicked at a little bit was because they looked too much Cloverfield s. Uh, they did. They I was like they looked like the Cloverfield monster, which, you know. But other than that, I thought they were really cool. They, they, they flew. They could fly and things like that. And there were a couple of uh, a couple of moments in the movie, especially like wink winks to classic monsters, the classic kaiju's from the Godzilla universe. You gotta really look close, but they're there, which was really cool. Um, and uh, but other than that, they they looked okay. It wasn't that they, I was like, oh, they look so boring. No, it was just at one. It was just like I look at them. I was like, Cloverfield monster. You know, it was kind of funny. But I give Mr. Uh, Garth uh, uh, Gotherin um, Edwards a lot of credit for what he showcased in the movie, for his direction of this movie. You know, I think some of us, you know, are especially for an American studio to do this. You know, we're we're still probably to this day, a lot of us are still trying to get that bad taste out of our mouths from the 1998 movie. Now, depending on if you liked it or not, but you know, there are a lot of faithful Godzilla fans are still trying to get that taste out of their mouth. And so, for me, guys, it was a little bit really scared and skeptical of another. For America, an American studio to try another Godzilla movie, but with this one, it it clicked on all cylinders. Um, oh my god! I I I really enjoyed this very much. The my favorite scene, especially of seeing you know, once Godzilla came out of the water. I mean, the water scenes with Godzilla. You saw him just swimming through the waters were great. You know, you really didn't see him. All you saw was his, you know, his his spikes and it was just like oh uh, yeah he's coming like he's coming he's coming he, he's you know it was it was almost like yeah yeah it was it was almost to the point you you looked at it as like yeah he's coming to restore balance and it was like he he felt a lot like a to me I depicted I depicted uh Godzilla this as a wandering samurai in a sense like he went from place to place to right the wrongs of his fellow kaiju of monsters in a sense like and that's the way i looked at it It was like he, he comes he's coming he's coming and you know till you finally got to see him in all his honor and glory like i said you know i felt sorry for honolulu because it it was like oh man you know you wouldn't don't want to be facing monsters on an island you know it was like oh boy and then san francisco gets hit next uh for the look of Godzilla, um, I know a lot of the the Japanese fans say he looks fat. Uh, I don't know. He just he just looked like he. This is the biggest Godzilla ever on screen, and I, I thought he looked fine. I I didn't see. I didn't get a sense of oh he's fat. I just saw just him looking as in all his honor and glory a, a godlike creature. You know, um, that once again, that once again, them playing up that playing up that notion of force of nature because they've been trying since the 1950s. And I thought that was really cool. Like they once again paying homage to the classic Gojira movie from the 1954, which was great. You know, still to this day, I can still watch that movie and still love it. Um talk about the 2014 roar uh, I enjoyed the roar for this Godzilla you know it it paid homage to the original but still had a little bit of its own twist to it which was fine you know 
Um, you, you don't want to you want to stay faithful to the roar, but you also want to put your own little twist to it. And I thought the sound people, the people behind it, did a good job of that. You know, um, it was it's it's really uh that was that was really fun to see that they did that. Um, to see that they you know put a, a twist to it. But like like I said, you know, uh, Brian Cranston who played uh who played Joe Ford in the movie, you know, um, he was only in it for a certain amount of time. He was kind of messed up. I, th I thought he was going to be in there longer. And then, you know, uh, Alan Johnson, you know, um, who basically, oh, excuse me, Aaron Johnson. Why can't you see Alan? Aaron Taylor Johnson, who played uh, Brian Creston's son, you know, and Elizabeth Olsen, who played uh, Alan, uh, Aaron Johnson's uh, wife in the movie. Like I said, it was they had chemistry, and I, I liked that. And Ken Wanabe was just really good. There were other actors in there, but those were like the real big names that really shined in the movie, and I enjoyed that. Um, I found out recently, um, before I did this, found out, is that um, before they started filming, before uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson was casted, they actually wanted, um, um, who would they want? Uh, what was it again that I read? They wanted um, Jason Gordon Levitz to play the character, and but uh, he declined it. Um, I guess his his you know he couldn't do it because he had other uh, projects to work on. So, but I thought uh, Kickass Aaron, Mr. Johnson did a good job. I thought he was really believable as you know the the kind of the hero in a sense, one of the heroes of the movie. Um, one of my favorite scenes, especially between the, the fights with Godzilla, uh, was when he, the spoiler right here, guys, was he literally took one of the Moro's, Moto's, uh, he opened the Moto and then atomic breath them, like he opened the mouth and then went like that. And then it, he saw the atomic breath like burst through the monster's throat. I was like, oh, that was so cool. Just seeing the atomic breath was beautiful. They did a good job visiting visually on the atomic breath because that was one thing that also I was like is he gonna do it is he gonna do it and he, he did do it um once he got started the fighting got started you know he, he showcased yeah I'm, I'm the king um i i didn't mind this the simplicity of like in a sense like one hero falls the other hero falls because by the end of the movie um it looks like both Aaron Taylor's character dies, and you see in the in the background on the near in San Francisco, Godzilla falls. I'll spoil that for you too. And they both like simultaneously fall at the same time. Um, however, that didn't happen because uh, thinking that he's dead, Godzilla gets back up at the end of the movie, which I loved. He gets back up, makes one more roar. Like and then just walks away, goes back into San Francisco Bay and just swims away, and everybody are cheering for him too. I was like, they showcased, yeah, he's the hero, and the as I call them, the Ronin, the wandering samurai, heads off, heads off into the sea again, just to you know make sure you know, he wrote he route the wrong, and now he goes back into uh, water, to where he comes from, and uh, you know. For another time, um, what also I found out about the movie was also cool. Is like uh, Godzilla franchise actor, a veteran actor of the Godzilla franchise, um, Akira Toyara, um, was in the movie, uh, uh, but uh, his 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 scenes were taken out of the movie. So I hope they are in the the deleted scenes or director's cut or deleted scenes because that was really cool. That you know they they had an original Godzilla uh, actor come to you know play in the movie so that was really good as well um but we hear of course there is going to be a sequel um and i'm looking forward to the sequels Whoa. sequels i've heard sequels um and now we you know i guess everybody wants to know so chris uh what monsters what are the kaijus do you want to see in the movie um First of all, I definitely want to see that. If, will they will they have a monster island? 
That's one thing. Will there be a Monster yeah. Island in it? Um, as of right now, I think the best way for me would go well, is that while there was a group in this movie that like was a secret group that followed Godzilla, what if there's a group that actually wants to capture him? So in a sense, hey, let's bring in Mega Godzilla. Mega Godzilla, you know, or, you know, as the monster to fight Godzilla. Or, um, like I said, there was a hint, wink, wink, of uh, Mothra in the movie. Um, but I'm, I'm, I've never been a big fan of Mothra. I, I hate that damn thing. I, I never, you know, every time, what my problem was, every time he fought Godzilla, it was, he always webbed Godzilla up with his, his stringy, and then Godzilla couldn't get on. I hate that damn thing, you know. But um, Rodan, I don't know. Maybe Rodan. I would probably like to see Rodan in there. See how they would depict uh, Rodan. Uh, but I think they would definitely have to keep when he flies and he can hit the sound barrier and boom, make a shockwave. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, for me, if they go three, I would save. Um, I would save the big time. Uh, monsters like uh Ghidra and uh Destroyer and all those for last like those big time heavy hitters save them for build up to them um uh maybe Anglosaur or you know uh uh man um I'm forgetting the spider kaiju damn it I'm forgetting his name but maybe him uh but I'm definitely looking forward to what they did with this was just a piece of just showcasing we can do it right. If you get somebody faithful, we can do it right, can be faithful to the original source and tell a good story in the, as well, but showcase, keep Godzilla in all his honor and glory. And that's what they did. Um, I didn't see Godzilla being fat, you know, but, you know, no disrespect to, you know, where his native homeland, you know, the people of his native homeland, you know, but, you know, I, I didn't see what was fat about him. I mean, did you want him to be just more of the slender? Like, the, here, here's, this is the classic look for him. You know, he's more slender, muscular in a sense, but the way they did it, they made him a little bit more broader, like more bulkier, not fat. It was more bulk. He was bigger and bulk and mass to showcase hey you know give him that credit of being the king you know which I enjoyed you know uh, and then of course you know uh, it, it it made once again as always as always for me it's if the studio makes back its money and yes it did it actually tripled its money or doubled its money actually um, at the box office, um, the budget for this movie was 160 mil, and it doubled that with 300, 374,687,000 dollars at the box office. So that the Godzilla movie made back its money um, very much. Uh, so it was, it's uh, it was really cool to, to see that. Yeah, like it, I'm glad to know that it made back his money, because um, that's always what you want. You know, you you want the the studios to the budget to be paid off for the studios. Uh, but yeah, it was good to see that it did that. And um, but definitely looking forward to the sequels for the Godzillas. Um, I've been a fan of Godzilla since I can remember. So you know. Seeing that Godzilla came back, came back strong, you know, uh, was fine. Hopefully, you know, he'll be in more scenes. I mean, it wasn't as if he wasn't in the movie until the last fifteen minutes of the movie. It was, it was just the, the build up to him was worth it. That's the way I look at it. It was, you saw him throughout the movie, but you didn't see him fully there. Like he was in the water a lot. You know, it was like he was just following the trails of the monsters who were like the villains in the movie. Um, but when he came, he made a point and he he, he, he stole the show right there. Uh, but I enjoyed it very much, you know, um, very much indeed.
So if I was to give uh, Godzilla a rating uh, out of five, four out of five to me, it, it was good. It, it, it lived up to what we were looking for. Um, and I think if they continue, if they get uh, Mr. Edwards back to direct it, then he's just going to build up even more, be better than the first, you know. Um, so, but it was, it was really good. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, indeed. Um, next, I will be going to see X-Men. Um, I'll, I'll go see X-Men, see X-Men next. i um, going to watch X-Men next, uh, probably um, th today, actually. Uh, but whenever this this video goes up, I'm filming this Sunday, so whenever this goes up, I'll, I'll be on the trail to go see X-Men next. But um, um, as of right now, Godzilla was really good. It was worth watching. I um, had a good time with it. Uh, as me being the big Gojira Godzilla fan that I am, uh, it, it it was good. Um, it had its some. It was it wasn't perfect, but it was good, especially for an American studio. Once again. So, uh, but other than that, guys, um, for all those who did see the Godzilla movie, like I said, I'm sorry if I'm late with it. You guys tell me what you thought about the movie. And uh, do you hate it? Did you did not like it? What was your favorite scene in the movie? Uh, and uh, did you think Godzilla was fat? Uh, but other than that, uh, you guys take care. And uh, I'll see you next time for another uh, movie review from the kid. Take care.